I'm going on a date with my boyfriend. We were like, let's just go out. Let's dress up fancy because really there's nowhere to be that's fancy lately. I just wanted an excuse for my grab shoes because they're so cute. And I also got this new dress from YesStyle and oh, it's everything and more. So we're just gonna start getting ready because of course I am late. I have an hour to get ready. I'm already hot. Look, this is not. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows because it's the first thing that I do every single time. I literally cannot multitask while I do this. So give me a second. Okay, I finished my eyebrows and now for the makeup, I'm honestly not gonna tell you guys what I do because I have another video on my channel, my everyday makeup routine, which I'm literally doing right now. I'm just doing a bit extra because it's like a fancy date. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We're going to the keg. <laughs> Let me just tell you, he literally texted me last night, Michael, my boyfriend, he's like, I got reservations at the keg for like 6.45, and I was like, you are just an angel. What should we talk about today, guys? I literally don't even have a plan. I'm like, I'm just gonna ramble. I literally have been working every single day this week, so this is my one day off, and I have just never been happier. To be honest, I'm just gonna talk about the randomest things ever. So I had a realization yesterday, and you know how like One Direction, like they're split up, obviously, they're all doing their own thing. Obviously for Harry, since he's like my favorite, I'm like, oh my gosh, like he's grown up so fast. I was watching, Niall and Anne Marie, like their song came out or something, right? They had this live performance, like the first performance together live. And I was like, oh my gosh, he is so good. I just remember, like, in One Direction when he first started, no one gave him solos. He was like the kind of like the outcast, like, he wasn't really in it that much. Well, I mean, at the beginning of One Direction, by the end, he was fine. But just the fact that, like, no one believed in him really, and now he's just like out here doing the best. Sorry, I had to put my beauty blender. He's just out here doing the most, and I'm just so proud of him. I'm so happy for him. Anyways, guys, let's talk about other things. Once I graduated high school, I literally had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and I still kind of don't but then I found YouTube and I was like oh my gosh I love doing this it's so fun and one of my friends asked me he was like what do you like how do you get your inspiration for videos or whatever I'm like literally whatever I want to do that's just the tea like I just do whatever because this is like the one thing I have in my life where like no one can tell me what to do so I'm like I'm doing whatever I want I don't even care that's why I feel like I don't have like a niche or a niche because I just like literally do whatever my heart desires which is kind of what I love we'll see what happens in the future but for now I'm just gonna like pick up my camera vlog a day or just talk to you guys like i'm doing right now right now we're at a restaurant and honestly it's cute but like i'm not gonna be there for the rest of my life or even another year because i have better things to do for now i think i'm gonna go to art school but i'm doing photography because i want to be a content photographer so badly just take photos of artists on stage or just models or anything i want to like grow up for you portfolio and I just want to be a photographer because that's the thing about me if I had to do something for the rest of my life I need to be able to enjoy it and already do it so I had to like really think of like things that I already do for fun that I really like and I'm like why can't I just monetize those and make money from those photography is perfect I love editing videos and photos I edit photos every day just for fun to see what like a certain edit looks like so I'm like that'd be so cool to play around and I have to pick my stuff photography as well because I don't really like those like you know like basic wedding like greenery type photos I want like urban in the city really like cute type things that's kind of what I'm leaning towards so I'm really excited to do that and work more on that I just have to get a camera and I'm working every day to save up for the camera and also a new phone that's like my two biggest purchases that I want to make is a new phone and a new camera so I've been working my booty off because I really want those two things and I want to be able to purchase them myself it's like a really big accomplishment for me I hate when people ask me what I want for my birthday actually more like my like dad when I mean, they ask me what I want for my birthday I hate saying it of things it's like i don't really want you to pay for that like i want to do it like i want to make my own money and pay for it that's just my little thing that i want to do for myself i also want to start a business i have an idea in mind but obviously i have to buy all the supplies for it it's not going to be like a whole like big thing but it's just like something i kind of want to like work on like a little product thing to work on because i find myself having a lot of spare time even though i edit videos a lot and i work so i'll just be sitting in bed and i'm like i wish i could be doing something that helped my life right now so i feel like that'd be a fun little project i'm not going to say what it is because i I'm not gonna you know do the most right now but eventually hopefully before summertime you guys will know i swear i do my makeup so bad whenever i'm filming because i'm just like focused on what i'm talking about oh whatever all right the foundation is finished also guys look at my harry style shirt what a minute to get. I actually won this. Um, when the merch came out for Harry, I was like, oh, it's not that cute. But then I entered a contest just because I enter every contest that I see. And I ended up winning this. So I'm like, oh my gosh, get into it. It's actually kind of cute. I love it. Anyways, time for the concealer. I use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear. I put like a dot or dots at the top. Dots here and dots here and the chin. That's where I like to be the darkest spots in my face. Also, we got like this new policy thing in 
British Columbia where I live about COVID and stuff. And apparently, I like really don't think this is gonna happen because they always say stuff like this and then they like lie to my face. Apparently like clubs and big gatherings are supposed to be opening by July 1st. I'm like, if that's in time for my 20th birthday, I hope you know we're all going clubbing. All of us, my birthday, we're all going. I highly doubt it's actually gonna be open. I mean, I have my hopes up pretty high. They're never just gonna get destroyed like they usually do. I'm just like, oh, whatever. But also Harry's tour is in August and I'm like, that's really not happening. This year 2021 is gonna be a year of concerts guys because they're all gonna be postponed I mean 2022 they're all gonna be postponed and they're all gonna happen at the same time and I'm just gonna be so overwhelmed there's gonna be a concert to go to literally every single day and I'm not even mad about it because I'm so excited I got Billy tickets I have Harry tickets I have Justin Bieber tickets I am going to scream literally I'm so excited honestly when concerts open up I think I'm just gonna go to like a random concert the first one I can find that's like cheap because I think I just need a live show I need to be in a crowd of people someone dancing me just like busting it in the back like i don't even care who it is if i know you or not like i'm going to your show if you have the first show in vancouver <sighs> what time is it oh my gosh i don't have that much time left my you need to hurry up i honestly just have so many plans and i think i just need to actually start doing them because that's something i really don't ever do and i also want to go on vacation so badly me and my boyfriend want to go to hawaii so badly well i want to go with him so badly he just wants to go in general because he's never been i've been a lot so i'm like i need to be your personal tour guide so i'm very very excited because that is happening very very soon not sure when but i'm manifesting it to be soon so it'll be soon also it's so hot in here oh my goodness and i need to just hurry up all right we're done with the makeup now for the makeup accessories which is like highlighter and all that stuff so i have to put on my powder i literally just use baby powder because i'm not spending eight million dollars on powder when this stuff literally works like a gem and it also makes my face so much softer i like to let it sit i used to wipe it off right after i put it on which is so stupid i don't know why i ever did that and now for the highlighter you know miss fenty beauty we love her we've been using her for the past three years and I feel like this is going to last me a literal lifetime. Because when I see I use this literally every day, I'm not even joking. And the fact that it literally looks like it hasn't been touched is just truly something else. And I, guys, I've been into so much music. Can I just show you guys some songs that I have been loving just for me, please? I'm going to film a playlist video very soon. But I got to just show you guys some really good songs. So let's just take a listen real quick. <laughs> We are back 20 minutes later and we're done. So now we're gonna do, um, I, I don't know why I do this. It's not really a big step, but I feel like whenever I make makeup on, like my eyelids always look so like funky. So I just like get this palette. It's like the Per X Barbie palette. And then I get my brush where I have no idea where it is. Oh my goodness. Just put the darkest one and mix it with like orange and put it up here. Cause for some reason it just doesn't get greasy during the day, which is exactly what I want to happen. And it adds some like color, especially during golden hour. Let me just tell y'all, it's something else. And it's literally it. Then I get my beauty blender and I just kind of blend in the excess powder. So it all sticks. We're done. And now we take this off my head. There's always going to be a giant line right here where makeup was. And I'm just like, ah, but I have to blend it in okay oh i just knocked something over look at that those waves right there <laughs> this is the finished product yeah <laughs> okay i'm just gonna get my dress i'm changing it here so like i'm not gonna go to my room because it's really messy in there but let me just show you guys what i'm wearing i'll be right back you guys can't see me twerking but trust me i was here is the dress it has a little slit right here which i just absolutely love and i think it's literally the cutest thing ever i wanted to do a tiny little dress that wasn't like too fancy but looked fancy it was comfortable it was cute so this is perfect and then these are the shoes they're just really really sparkly i'll do a little cinderella transformation bippity boppity bippity boppity boo ladies and gentlemen her she is also twerkable 
love it love it love it michael is here so i have to go thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready the final outcome there's gonna be more to this vlog it's not over i'll show you guys a little montage of what we did the photos we took and everything like that so thanks for watching this part of the video and enjoy the next minute or so i love you guys I like you.